Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Medal of Honor Allied Assault Spearhead. So in this part we're going to be recording the final uh, mission of this expansion to Medal of Honor Allied Assault. I'm probably not going to immediately jump into going and recording uh, Breakthrough, uh, but I have gone ahead and gotten it set up to work in much the same way that I have gotten Spearhead to work. So let's go ahead and do Mission 3, Road to Berlin. I'm going to go ahead and mute my microphone while we go ahead and play through the uh, little history cinematic thing. Although the enemy has taken a beating on most fronts, they refuse to end the war quietly. This suits the Russians just fine. Georgi Zukov, the Soviet general, is planning a major offensive to crush Berlin itself. Our side will back them up with air cover and ground support to the west. Once the Reds roll their T-34s across the Oder River and into Berlin, I doubt they'll leave much standing. From what we've heard, the Soviets have their own heavy axe to grind with the Fatherland. Something about 20 million dead. It's no longer a question of if the Germans are defeated. The question is when. Sergeant Jack Barnes, April 1945. Okay. So Berlin, heart of the German Empire. German Reich would make more sense here, but whatever. Barnes, one of your planes went down inside city. See if pilot alive and get me to see Harris. We'll go down. We stay here. I'm sorry, what did they want me to do? I was a little more focused on the fact that apparently we had Germans sitting right in front of us. And behind us. Yeah, I don't... I don't think we, uh... Had this location secure. Like, at all. I don't even know what the fuck those guys are shooting at. Because I don't... Oh shit. Ow, 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 what the... Okay, I think I got him. Ouch, you bastards. Only problem I have with not being able to aim down sights, I can't see shit when it comes to long distance shots. Because enemies are like no more than a couple of pixels big. Oh, shite, sir. Uh, don't mind me, dude. Also, I guess I accidentally ran into the track or something. Oh, shit. Come on. Fucking thing needs to blow up faster. Grenade. Oh, 
think that went far enough. Or did... Did they... Oh, mm, okay, yep. You probably should have seen that coming. Um... Oh god, okay, and then one of them fucking shot the damn thing and blew me up. Okay, yeah, well, it's nice to know these things are that sensitive to, uh... Like, the smallest... I can't fucking see through the damn lights, because it's literally just a solid white light. I think they're dead, but I can't tell. Yeah, that is not particularly efficient in my opinion. I really think it'd be much better if that thing just blew up on its own. Like, seriously. Why does it not just blow up on its own? Or is it this supposed to simulate, oh, it's raining, and so the fuse gets wet, and so it doesn't go off sometimes. Which, I mean, doesn't really make that any more interesting, in my opinion. Just in case he was up there. Now the thing I'm mostly curious about is where the fuck that tank came from. Because it came from behind, obviously, but... Oh, I don't have any more fucking explosives. Okay, didn't realize that I was going to be, like, limited on those, but okay, we're just going to run, I guess. Uh, ow. I'm sorry about the blinding light of the fucking headlights. Oh, god damn it. God damn it. Is somebody over on that side shooting me? And now I have literally no fucking health, and these guys have not dropped any health at all. So I need to make my way to the Chancery building. Without getting hit once, basically. Lo and behold, that obviously was not going to happen. Well, now I know where the fuck that dude is, I guess. Maybe? It 
so now I have a little bit more health. Still not much, because again, nobody drops any fucking health, apparently. Fuck you, Germans. Fucking A, somebody had some goddamn health, finally. Uh, personally, I think that second shot should have probably blown that up, because normally it has, but this time the game said no. Goddamn tank. I know we're in Berlin, but Jesus Christ. How many tanks do they got? Back here. You done? Like, seriously, you guys have to be running out of tanks at this point. No, fuck you. Don't care. God, I can barely make him out in the rain. Fuck you, dude. Seriously, sitting in a corner? Really? Okay, more fucking explosives. Let's go ahead and load up all our weapons. I thought I got sh somebody up here was trying to shoot me. Okay. GPS. Is he seriously not fucking dead or is there another one? was that? I swear there was like an explosion. There's a dude up here somewhere. Uh, I think that hit him. Wonderful.
Uh, is there a, oh god. Damn it, this is... Oh my god, there's fucking three of them. Four of them, Jesus Christ, how fucking many of these... God damn, really? Fucking four goddamn panzers in the same area? Really? Those guys are going to be annoying, it would appear. And it should be noted, the thing that's most annoying about them is that they come out of fucking nowhere. You know, it'd be one thing if, like, they came from a direction that was somewhat sensible, but they don't. They come from literally nowhere. Often from where you just came from. Which just makes no sense. Uh, game? This is, like, clearly some intel or something that I'm supposed to... Pick up. Or at least I should be able to, but apparently I can't. Locate the combination to the safe. Well, maybe it's right here. Oh my god, who would have fucking thought? Eliminate enemies and commandeer a tank. Where the, where the fuck did that one come from? The one that I was apparently standing, like, right next to. So, game, I'm curious how you expect me to... Ah. Do I have to deal with these guys before I can... Oh, fuck! Did I... Oh, okay. Game said you completed the objectives. <laughs> there was still a guy in with a machine gun shooting at me, but Game said, eh, close enough. Wait, is this why I had to fight four? Because I somehow triggered this? When you're supposed to be in a tank for this section? Is that what happened, game? is that these old games are often so poorly coded that you can sometimes trigger events before you're supposed to be able to actually trigger them? Because that would be my guess. Okay, I don't think that lift up made much sense there, but so be it.
I, I don't know if I'm going the right way. I think I am. I would expect if I wasn't, the game would, uh... Let me know in some way. Okay, that apparently did not hit. And I assume I just drive over that to heal up. So let's go ahead and heal up. I just played a little bit through the first mission of uh, Breakthrough and... Um, they had this similar sort of segment where you take control of a tank, but I did not see any way to heal there. Not that I really took any damage, though, so... Possible I just missed them. So I do have to ask, what's the deal with the whole... Like, only 45 degree turns. Or, uh, rotation on the turret. Or, not the turret, the machine gun. Like, maybe it's just me, but that's, uh... Seems a little low. Also, I have to ask, why did we have a random T-34 that was apparently captured by the Germans? Like, it was pretty far behind their lines, which would seem to indicate that the Germans pushed us back. And we abandoned one of our T-34s. mine so how do I destroy it exactly just keep shooting it or something uh yeah pretty much oh, those are the friendlies hey guys I recovered your uh t-34 because for some reason you seemingly left it back there with a bunch of Germans who would have probably loved to have taken it So, you're welcome. Also, I am somehow acting as driver, gunner, and, uh, commander. Don't ask. Sergeant Barnes, listen up. Those tanks are sitting ducks from the air. But you must engage the enemy in a full bad line until our bombers reach your position. ETA is two minutes. Give them hell, son. Out. Um, okay, that, uh, should be hitting him. Game, have you decided that my... ...shells no longer do any damage, or do they somehow... ...do less damage at range? Which, it should be noted, makes zero frickin' sense. Or is there drop I'm not accounting for? And at these ranges, I don't think there would be any significant drop. Like, you might have some, but I don't think it would be all that significant. Oh, you blew up!
I swear to God that one blew up. There's another fucking Panzer in front of me. Isn't there? Oh, there, there he is. I see you now. And I think I hit the one that's already dead. Now, I think this game does sort of model weak points-ish to a degree. Because it does seem like... Some shots tend to kill faster than others. Like, that was a one shot. The other two was taking fucking forever. I'm trying to blow up the damn truck. There we go. Also, the the traction on this is absolute garbage. Well, not traction, but the reaction to changing from forward and reverse is... Oh, God. It's terrible. It really is. That's something. It's funny how one can lie and remember things of days gone by. And in perhaps one short minute, recapture a past year and all that's in it. Everyone stores up things that have passed. Some have forgotten, others will last. But a soldier who has been to war has in life's memory book something more. Something that can only be in the memories of men like you and me. Something that is born that's shot shell develops and grows in times of hell this comradeship as it is known by us of which we never make much fuss is this something which in our minds was set in lands where many are lying yet and so i remember from the start the friends i knew now far apart my soldiering is done and I leave it behind. But that something comes with me in my mind. Okay, so apparently the final mission here um, in Allied Assault, or Medal of Honor Allied Assault Spearhead uh, is not like the previous two missions and most of the missions in the base game either where it's broken up into multiple parts. Um, I think generally three parts. Apparently this one is just two? Or was it one? Because I don't I'm actually failing to recall right now if when we got into the tank, if I had to press continue. I think I might have. So this is like at most two parts. Uh, and generally missions are broken up into three parts, I believe, is sort of the norm. Um, so that's interesting wonder if that's a, a case of development time, not allowing them to have this mission be longer or something. Or if they planned on it taking longer than half an hour to play through. Because um, that's basically what it was for us. We like literally just passed the 30 minute mark uh, in OBS. So yeah, uh, apparently our preferred weapon was the 88 millimeter tank gun, which I don't believe is accurate in any way because we only destroyed like two uh tanks with it so yeah unless they consider the tank on the t-34 which is not an 88 millimeter uh depending on what t-34 that was that's either what the uh 57 or 75 or i might be misremembering but i believe those are the the two ones. Uh, I, I think there was a T-34-85, but yeah, uh, 
whatever. Either way, it's. Uh, I don't think most of our kills came from the 88 millimeter tank gun. I, I really don't. In fact, I'd say the vast majority of our kills probably actually came from the PPSH. Um, we also have a surprisingly low number of enemies killed at only 28, which is shocking because we killed quite a few enemies. Uh, just making our way to get the intel, I guess, that the plane was carrying. The plane that went down. And then we had to go and steal their intel from the Chancellery building. Or whatever it was called. Something like that, I believe. And then get to... Um, get in the tank and go. Again, I, depending on whether or not vehicles count as multiple enemies killed, either the PPSH or the T-34 would be uh, what I would label as the preferred weapon. Personally. <laughs> but, uh, you know, whatever. Game decided to say, oh, nah. Clearly, your preferred weapon was the 88mm. You know, the thing you only used twice. And you weren't on it for particularly long periods of time either time. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, so yeah, so that's going to be it apparently for uh, Medal of Honor Allied Assault Spearhead because this final mission was shorter than I expected at only about half an hour. Even with the numerous failures that we had. Um, often because apparently the little fucking sticky bombs we got don't uh, explode on their own. I have to shoot them. For some reason. I don't know why. I just do. Uh, but yeah. The fall of Berlin was a bloody nightmare of house-to-house -house combat. The Soviet losses were staggering. But from the moment Red soldiers raised their flag over the Reichstag, the Allies had sealed Germany's fate. The long war for Europe was over. Adolf Hitler, who had promised a thousand years of pain, lay dead in his bunker. Soon they'll draft and sign the usual treaties, award their medals and campaign ribbons, build their memorials. But morning the count was dead. That won't end in our lifetime. And to the generations that follow, I offer the hope and prayer that somehow we find our way to a lasting peace. Sergeant Jack Barnes, May 1945. Okay, and then credits, whatever. Skip them. Don't really care. Uh, so that gets us the Medal for the Capture of Berlin, awarded under extreme special circumstances by the Soviet Red Army, U.S. Sergeant Jack Barnes, with complete disregard to personal safety, confronted hostile armed forces, and managed to secure vital documents uh, attributable to saving the lives of thousands of Soviet nationals. And because we played through this on easy, we get the Bronze Star. For a heroic and meritorious achievement of service in connection with the operations against an opposing armed force, on April 30th, 1945, Sergeant Jack Barnes, 501st PIR, successfully completed a challenging tour of duty in the European Theater of Operations. If you play through all the missions on normal and hard respectively, uh, you gain different medals. I think the way they have it set up, and I could be wrong about this, is that you get the medals of whatever difficulty you played at and below. So if you play on hard, you'd get all three, I think. Uh, but don't quote me on that. I don't actually know that for certain. That's just my guess. That's how I would have it programmed. So that people don't have to play through the campaign three times on each difficulty. If they can play through it on hard all the way from beginning to end, then great for them. Uh, they get all three medals right away. But yeah, so that's going to be it for this series. Um... Like I said, I'm probably not going to go ahead and jump immediately into recording Breakthrough right this second. 
Uh, I'll probably save that for a different recording session, probably next week as of when I'm recording this. That means as of when you guys see this video, it'll have been about three weeks ago or so. Uh, but yeah, so that'll be it for this video. I will see you all next time. A quick reminder that I do have a Patreon, Discord, and Streamlabs donation link down below in the description. If you want to update on what's going on with the channel, I highly recommend that you join the Discord because that is my go-to place for posting about that type of stuff. Sometimes I remember to post elsewhere, but don't count on it. 99.9% .9 of the time I don't post outside of Discord when it comes to what's going on with the channel. So uh, again, if you want to know what's going on with the channel, I highly recommend you join that. Uh, as for uh, Patreon and Streamlabs, those are two of the best ways to help support the channel. Uh, if you find yourself enjoying this content or any of the other content on the channel, and you want to go ahead and allow uh, support the channel so that I can continue to bring you that content, those are the two main ways to go about doing it. Uh, Patreon gets you some goodies if you decide to go that route, namely that you get early access to videos. Uh, but the channel doesn't take as doesn't make as big of a cut. Uh, Patreon takes their cut, and then there's the transfers, uh, the transfer fee to move it out of Patreon into my account. Uh, that adds up a little bit. Um, I don't recall off the top of my head what Patreon's cut is. I mean, it's not a ridiculous amount. It's not like 30% or anything. I think it's like 8 or 10%, depending upon if you're grandfathered into an older Patreon account or if you've made a new one. Um, and if you're paying for a higher tier premium service from them, I think as well, you get a better cut if you pay them. But I don't. Uh, I believe I am grandfathered into the lower amount which I think is like 8% like I said don't quote me on that though I don't actually recall the top of my head and I don't have it in front of me either because I really don't care um, the other way to support the channel like I said is the Streamlabs donation link the channel takes a much larger cut there uh, at the end of the day because uh, Streamlabs themselves doesn't take a cut they get their money from people signing up for their prime service or whatever they call it um, so they don't take a cut from donations the only cuts will be from payment processors, uh, PayPal, if uh, it puts the money into the PayPal account, or if it does it, a direct transfer into my account, depending on what you do, because I have it set up for three different uh, payment uh, options. Uh, but yeah, so, but generally speaking, Streamlabs gets a much larger cut, and that does now have, as of like a month or so ago, as of when I'm recording this, uh, a, a monthly donation option. Uh, but if you go that route, just note, you don't get any of the goodies that Patreon does, largely just because I don't have a good way of automating that. Um, just stay on top of successful monthly donations. Uh, if I can ever find a system to help automate that, uh, I will probably go ahead and give you guys that route the same uh, privileges basically as Patreon uh, but it's up to you how you guys want to support the channel if you find yourself enjoying it uh, but that'll be it for this video feel free to like, favorite, comment, subscribe if you're not already and I will see you all next time until then goodbye and farewell <laughs>